I recently took part in one of those weekend boot camps and I watched the trainer, Kevin, do one-handed push-ups. Now, my first thought when I saw him drop down and do these one-hand push-ups is, I can't do that. My second thought was, I can't do that yet. Several more times that morning, he did exercises that I just wasn't sure I could do. Then I looked to my, uh, my left and I saw my friend Michael doing exactly what I thought was impossible for mortal men. So it inspired me to do what I had just thought there's no way I can do. Too many times in life, we cut ourselves short because of what we think we can't do. We think our maximum potential level ranks around the three level when we really can make it to level 10. We sell ourselves short, hold ourselves back by our own mental restrictions. In the book of Luke, chapter 22, starting in verse 41, we find this interesting pre-crucifixion account of Jesus, and he's praying. He stepped away from the disciples to pray alone. Now Jesus prays, Father, if you are willing, take this cup from me. Nevertheless, not my will, but yours be done. It's safe to say that Jesus was not looking forward to what was about ready to happen. The story goes on that he was in agony. Surely there was fear and yes, even doubt, but that very important statement prevails, not my will, but yours be done. He would not limit his ability to fulfill the will of the Father due to his fear, agony, or doubt. While it is certainly wise to know our limits, those limits must be based on the knowledge gained through actual data gathered and not through fearful speculation. Every time doubt and fear set the bar, it's always going to be way lower than possible. My hope for all of us is that we exercise our faith, that we push ourselves as far and as hard as possible. Our faith walk is not dissimilar from our physical well-being. It requires attention and it requires effort to grow stronger. And yes, just like watching Kevin do something that I couldn't do yet, the efforts that result from our faith can always be pushed to the next level. That's something to pray about, don't you think? Thanks for watching.